Hi guys, Kev from Kevlar Gaming here. Welcome to a new video. So in this video, we're going to be installing the Leon Lee Streamer Plus 8-pin GPU cables. So I've got the triple version here because my card needs three 8-pins. And we're also going to have a go at making our Leon Lee RGB cables link up with the Corsair software. As you might already see in my PC and you might have seen my previous videos, I've already got the motherboard 24 pin Leon Lee cable in there. I've got a Corsair Lighting Node Pro kit with the um, LED strips and I'm hoping that using this we'll be able to link up the Leon Lee controller to the Corsair Lighting Node Pro so we can actually control the Leon Lee cables via the Corsair IQ software. Right, let's get into it. Right, so first things first, let's get the streamer cable out of its box and I think this should be the easy bit of connecting it to the GPU. Right, we've got one of the um, controllers which I won't need because I've already got one of those that came with my 24 pin. A few extra cables there so I'm going to need one of those I think to be able to connect it to my Lighting Node Pro. And here's the cable itself. Right, here it is. Right, nice and bendy, so I'm thinking I will go that way. Actually, I think it's going to have to be that way. So, the, if you can see the clippy bits there, and the clippy bits on my graphics card, it needs to go down that way. So, it's going to have to go up. Right, so let's unplug this. I'll have to pull that back out the other side. Let's just get these plugged in first. I'll tell you what, that actually clips in a lot nicer than the cables off of your GPU. It's always a bit fiddly to get them all in nicely, but that because they're all quite rigid, it sticks in really easily, really quickly. Well, right, it's a bit of a mess back there, isn't it? Tricky. Right, let's pull the um, GPU cables out first. Right, sorry, I got in the way of the camera trying to do that because it was a bit tight trying to pull these out but I've got the GPU cables out so somehow I need to work out where I can pull through the Leon Lee cable to plug these in. Tell you what it's quite a difficult decision on where to put it because um, I've obviously already got my 24 pin coming out this slot here there's not really a lot of room to fit this through there as well um, interesting right now after loads of filling about off camera so I've moved my 24 pin cable to come out the bottom one so now I've got this section up here free to feed this one through so we're going to put this over the top like that twist that through that way feed it through there let's get it through there so it's going to kind of look like that I think that's the best we're going to get right right I'm going to connect it in the back here's the cable coming through Right, they're in, that, that was annoying, that was really fiddly trying to get all the eight pins lining up to plug in there. So that's in now. I mean, this case is getting a bit crazy with all the cables, but it's such a good case for closing off when you've got such a mess. It actually yeah, closes pretty well when you've got so much shit in here. So that'll be all right. I mean, you know, I could be nice and tidy, but to be honest, the more I try and be tidy, the harder it gets to close the case. It almost closes better when you've just left it in a mess. Okay, so I've got my now I've got my two Leon Lee cables to go into the controller. So I've got one for the GPU cable and one for the uh, motherboard cable. So which one's which? Ah, interesting. They're both the same. Aha, right. Okay, I see. So, what I've probably just learned is that the controller I got with my 24 pin cable, if you can see there, I don't know if you can, I've got one here which has eight pins and one here with six, okay? But both of these cables are eight. Now I have a feeling if you've got the GPU cable which only has two eight pins and not the three, then that's probably where it goes in the six pin. But obviously I've got the one with three and it's giving me eight pin. So just check the box for my eight pin one. And if you look there, it has two eight pins. I guess when you buy the 
motherboard cable, the 24 pin one, it basically comes with a controller assuming you're gonna buy the, uh, the two times eight pin GPU cable, not the triple one. So that's fine, at least I've got the right, so I just need to get rid of that one. Let's plug this in. So this bit was the part that goes in for the power, plug that in, then I can plug these two in here. Right, they are in. So now if I turned it on, that should all be working fine, um, but it'll be just running off all the controller here, so I'll control it via this. So the next step is that we're gonna try and connect it using Corsair connections. So what we have in this little bag here is some connectors from the Leon Lee cable. Okay, so we've got some RGB connectors. Okay, so I don't need that SATA because I've already got my SATA connected from my previous one. And we seem to have two different RGB connectors. Right, so which one do I want to use? Let's have a look. Okay, so I think this longer one without the white, so this one here, is if I'm connecting that directly to motherboard. So obviously this is the female plug here, going to the motherboard. I'm not connecting it to motherboard, so I'm gonna be using this one, which has the male. So let's stick that in here. So they've marked it white, so that should be nice and clear for me. Put that in there. Okay, so now this is the bit which is not compatible with the Corsair controllers. So I've purchased a converter cable. Let's get that out. And this is also male, so that's not gonna to connect to that. Let's try it. This, this could be a, a bad idea but we'll see. So we're actually gonna use this one, which says it's um, to go to the motherboard rather than to a controller. I'm just gonna reread the instructions just in case. I'm gonna really cock something up here. This might not work, but I'm gonna try it. So we're gonna try this version. So we'll plug that in here, and then that can plug into my extender. Okay, then here, now we've got a, a Corsair LED connection, which I open up my Corsair box. I've got my Lighting Mode Pro from my Corsair box. That LED cable can connect to here. I'm going to put number one actually. Right, so that's all connected. Then I need to give that some SATA power sure i've got another sata thing there yep so i've got a loose one here give that some power so many cables it's insane right so that's all connected up now i've also got some led strips obviously with that box that i got so the lighting node pro with led strips so i'm going to stick those in as well and i'm hoping they all link together nicely so they only need to plug into the one other Right, so my Lighting Node Pro needs to be plugged in by USB. So we've got a little socket in there, plug that in. Now, I'm not going to bore you with this part, I'm going to sort it out myself, but I've already used all the USB headers on my motherboard. So I've bought myself a little USB hub, dodgy little USB hub here, hopefully it works. So I'm going to sort all that out, get my USB plugged in, I'm going to stick the LED strips where I want to stick them and then I'll come back and show you the aftermath and hopefully connect the LED strips into the Lighting Node Pro and then everything should be connected together and then we'll see if it works as expected. Right, okay, so here we are. So I've connected, you see down there, the LED strips going around the case. Sorry, that was a really bad filming there. So they're all on one strip. So I've got a gap here and they go all the way around and then back down. And I've got the wire going through the back there. I need to tidy those up a little bit. So coming around the back, okay, I've got the little wire coming out here. Then I've got it connected into the Lighting Node Pro here. Then I've got the Lighting Node Pro 
plugged in SATA for power, then it plugs in USB into my little USB hub I've got there. Then as we already showed, we've got our Leon Lee connected also to the Lighting Node Pro. So that's what I'm hoping I'm going to be able to control it via Corsair because it's connected into here. I think that's it. What a mess. Uh, I might try and tidy it up a little bit, but not until we've tested it actually works. Right, okay, so we've got it all plugged in. Sorry about the mess, as you'll see. I create a lot of mess when I do a bit of PC maintenance. Anyway, right, let's turn it on, see what happens. I've not, obviously I've left it away from the wall because I think I need to do some switches on this to get it to be controlled by IQ. First of all, let's just turn it on and just check everything's connected up okay. Ah, okay, instantly we're getting some lighting on the new GPU cable and at least our motherboard cable is working as well. And we've got the new LED strips lighting up, so that's good. I think first of all, if I, I'm gonna click the buttons on that to change the Leon Lee so hang on, let me just set the camera up so I don't have to hold it. Right, so let's click some buttons. There we go, okay. So now I can control it using that, which is what I did before. That's the one I had. I'm sure I had it going slower than that before, but okay, so that's as it is now. So now I'm gonna go into IQ and let's see what we can do here. Right, so at the moment, I can't see it recognizing the lighting node. Interesting, okay. I'm just unplugging and plugging in my commander. So just checking that little USB extension works. So at least we know that works. because We could see that connecting and disconnecting. Okay, so it's plugged in. If I took the power out of it, try that quick. Hopefully that means the lights will go off. Yeah, okay. So it's working in that powering, so it's providing the lights to the LEDs, but why isn't it getting picked up in IQ? Sorry, you couldn't see what I was doing around the side there. I was going behind the computer uh, and I just unplugged the SATA cable to check about the power. I unplugged and plugged in the USBs. Right, let's do a bit of research. Right, so a bit of research done. I'm gonna try and connect the Lighting Node Pro directly to the motherboard USB slot. So I'm going to swap my USBs around and then we'll see if that makes a difference. One second. Right, here we go. Just rebooted after swapping some USBs around. So I've got the Lighting Node Pro plugged directly into the motherboard USB slot. And interesting, we've got no lights at all on the LED strips. So maybe now it will get controlled by, ah, uh, there you go. So Lighting Node Pro is there in IQ now and everything else seems to be working as it should. So hopefully if we open this now, we can get this working. No device connected, pick, um, right, hang on. What did I put in number one? So number two is the LED strip. So let's see if we can Change that to LED strip, right? Good. So LEDs are working. I wonder what we pick. I'm going to pick LED strip for number one as well. Right, so now I think if I hold this button at the back on my Leon Lee Commander, I think it's the M1, if I hold that down. Aha! There we go. So I think everything's being controlled by IQ. So if I come back to home and change it to something else, Ah, there you go. So everything is now in sync. So I've just changed it to that. Um, sorry, you can't see. I need to zoom out a bit. Let's move you out. All right, here you go. So yeah, on the left-hand side of my screen, I can change the scenes. So blue, red, visor, rain. Rain's quite cool, isn't it? Uh, back to rainbow. I know rainbow is that one. And then rainbow wave. So good. That's looking good. 
and it's actually worked which is good but everything's linked up which is perfect right so there we go i've just done the nightmare job of packing all the wires away in the back i managed to squeeze them in with a bit of a forcing but they're all in there but there we go all linked up all working synced to iq so there we go so that is how you can install your Lee and Lee streamer cables for both your GPU and 24 pin. You can actually watch my other video where I installed my 24 pin initially, where I just used the streamer commander to control the lighting on that. But now we got the GPU cable in and everything working and linked up to IQ. So thanks for watching, I hope you found that useful, I hope you enjoyed, please do give us a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video, cheers.